In Dr. Laura Landerman Garber's car, there is barely any room for her these days as the car is stuffed with cards and she's collecting more every day. I do have 25,000 plus right now in my dining room with thousands pouring in. Yesterday I picked up a thousand here. This year, because of the pandemic, she's had to make some changes to her routine. Any cards that come in sit and then they're packed and then they sit and then they're mailed and then they sit. So we are following all safety guidelines. The cards come from all over the country. There are also drop off boxes for cards around the state. And in some places like Franklin Savings Bank, they'll even provide the card for you. Every single one of the cards that gets to our troops is the one that is most important. The cards are destined for those serving overseas. And while it may be only a card, Landerman Garber says it can mean the world to those so far away. It's a taste of home that they are not necessarily getting when they're so far away from home. Right now during COVID, when you asked about COVID, they're saying it may be the difference between despair and joy. And if that isn't powerful enough to have you sign a card, I don't know what is. The deadline to get the cards in has been pushed back to November 15th. The cards range from the very complex, like this homemade pop-up card by a woman from where, to the very simple. But they all carry the same message, that you care. In Hollis, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.